The yes. Hey, real quick. Look look what Bonnie made during the show. What the fuck? Is that a That'll clay pig? That'll do, pig. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? She made a full-on uh, pig. God damn. <clears throat> She's just sitting there playing with clay. Yeah. During the show. Love it. So wait, can we auction this shit off? Yeah, you want to? Well, this one was for... Talking to the mic. Just, or... Talking to the mic. Oh. This one was for uh, Jonathan's baby. But Jonathan... I can do one next week. That would be fun. Jonathan right Pace. Oh, right on. Yeah. Very cool. All right, so that how about this? Adorable. adorable. Bonnie, how about each episode that you would like, you announce during the pre-show that you will make a sculpture, and that at the end, in the post-show... People can bid for it for the charity of your choosing, and that'll be a fun little thing as long as you want to make random bullshit. That sounds like That's a lot of fun. We should do that. I agree. Uh, be great. Hey, real real quick, um, <clears throat> were were you guys fans a uh, decade or two ago of, of Samurai Jack? Are, are you at all excited about the return of Samurai Jack on Adult Swim? Specifically Very. the fact that it's on Adult Swim and not on Cartoon Network? So... Uh, Samurai Jack was at a point where people that were higher than me were into it. Hi, it like, like, like higher? As, as or, yes. Like, Marijuana like, was involved? Like, yeah. Smoke higher. Were like people that the highest people I knew were the most, the, the biggest fans of Samurai Jack. Well, they, they cracked the code. They figured out that there's money in offering entertainment that will appeal to children uh, or, or that they can sell to ch children. They also were the first show that I watched that I figured that, that they figured out like, Oh, if they're robots, they can graphically be eviscerated. Yeah. Blood could be spewing out of their jugular uh, veins, but they're robots and it's oil. So it's totally fine. And so stylistically it was off the charts. It was, it was amazing. Um, uh, they, they, they essentially just did high end anime for seven year olds. Well, yeah, yeah but and, and, it was and, uh, insanely visual, right? Like that was that was the big thing is that there was like barely dialogue. It was it was like you know, crazy, over the top, insane visuals, and like that was it. And like I don't know, like it was never really my thing, but but I, I always appreciated whenever I saw it. It was uh, it was I like. It, the quality of the art direction, um, as you all know, I'm an art nerd, was just so above and beyond anything they needed to do for the network that it was on, for the uh, target demographic that they were going for. Oh, they, they super over delivered on everything, right, on the storytelling, right. on the on the the, the graphic uh, uh, depiction. Yeah, it, for 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 me, like in uh, in animation that you know came first and foremost from the US, you know, and that's without getting into the, you know, Asterix animation is shopped out to a lot of different countries, blah, 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 blah. Like Samurai Jack was the, well, the probably the second biggest thing that just blew my mind from like it, the quality of it. Um, yeah, as far as, as far as American animation, I think the first one was Batman, the animated series. I think the second one was Samurai Jack. And I think the third was Avatar, the last airbender. Yeah, no, Avatar was, was pretty great as well. Uh, do, uh, man, I'd, I'd love to take a look at that that trailer again, but I guess we gotta pick we gotta pick a title. We do have here. to pick a show title. It's a thing. I like the world's fastest game. Uh, yeah, no, I'm down with that. <laughs> <laughs> I like the world's <laughs> fastest gray game. Uh, the, the ever changing boob is not terrible. <laughs> no, wait, but, but that was mainly pre-show. That was pre-show. Right? Oh, that that? Was, yeah. we, we called back to it during uh, the show, but that was mostly pre-show. I think the world's fastest. game game is, okay. is what we got not stuck in a boob and you're to blame <laughs> <laughs> right. I mean, you give be. love a bad name Ooh. oh uh did you see the live action uh uh avatar uh cora um cosplay Somebody, um, uh, there's I, been a lot of those. Is there well, one specific you're referencing? Right, here, Sorry, here, 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 uh, here. uh, specific, specifically, this was somebody that, um, uh, that, uh, had like a, a fishing line and a, a, a scarf. So she would do the oh, moves yes. and it looked like, uh, water bending all around her. It was pretty Wasn't amazing. Wasn't that a Dragon Con a couple years ago? Because I remember, I think, seeing it in one of those Dragon Con supercut cosplay hype trailers. Yeah, no, it was pretty It was brilliant. gorgeous. Dude, look at this. Since yesterday. 
Uh, number nine still trending. Uh, two and a half million views. The uh, Samurai Jack season five trailer. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking for my my preset. Is oh, I won't do this. Here we go. Fifty years have passed, but I do not age. How much longer can you keep this up? Time has lost its effect on me. Yet, the suffering continues. You've forgotten your purpose! Aku's grasp chokes the past, present, and future. Your training is complete. Go kill the samurai! There is no hope for you, foolish samurai. Aku is the master of masters and will end you! There's no way home. There's nothing to fight for. Show yourself, samurai, so you can die. It always seems bad at first, but then I find a way. Leave here now and live, or stay and face your destiny. Our destiny is your death! Very well. Aku destroyed everything. Gotta get back, back, back to the past. Dude, okay. Handguns, Gatling guns, and uh, 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 C4 bomb explosions. Not things I remember from the previous episode. Uh, from well, the hey, previous 50 series. years have passed, baby. Yeah, dude. Uh, love it. Uh, in. Totally in. Yep. Yep. I, I would right, I would for, I would cover all of my walls with background paintings from that series if it was an easily attainable thing for me. So, uh, all right, so let me let, let, let me ask you guys this because this is something that came up on uh, Hotline Monday earlier today that uh, if you could either put any non uh, uh, adapted book or comic book into uh, production and you don't know where it ends, right? Like, so you just assure yourself that you will see a final product in a year. But you don't know who's going to do it and who's going to act in it. Could be Lord of the Rings. Could be uh, the first Daredevil starring Ben Affleck. Right. Right. You, you 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 do not know. Or alternatively, you could eliminate from history. No one would remember a adaptation that you didn't like. What would you pick? Uh, I would I would rather bring something into the world than take something out of it. Yeah, I'd hate to say well, it. Then but it's what? like what? What would you do? What would you do? Uh, I'm I'm literally torn between two things, and one of them has already been on TV, but it didn't last long. Which one? Uh, Dresden Files. <laughs> and then the other thing I'm torn between has never been on TV. Uh, which is Saga. Uh, I I saw Saga in the chat. I, I I've read the first couple episodes of Saga. It's friggin' amazing. Loved it. Um, you know what? I would undo, I never saw it, but I know that its existence kept it from ever happening, but I would undo the lock and key pilot uh, so that there could be some other version of it, maybe an animated version or whatever. Uh, wow, and, I, I didn't even know there was a lock and key pilot. Oh, dude, uh, uh, real, uh, L-O-C-K-E and key pilot. It, it doesn't look great. Um, uh, yeah, there it is. Oh, God, I got it. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know about that either. Yeah, it 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 looked uh, affordable. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, that is that is the best way to insult a new show. I'm going. I'm going to get that it it just looks like yeah, like it, in that famous trilogy, it went cheap and fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is it. Look at that. Добро пожаловать в дом ключей. Что если дом? Maybe this is even better in Russian. Это хороший вопрос. Это старое имя. Может открыть ваши удивительное. Такое чувство, что я знаю дом. И открыть дверь вашим кучам. Actually, take it back. I want this to be on national television in Russian. Yeah, you can uh, you can recognize some of the set pieces exactly from the uh, yeah. There's the well house. Может, они были. What are these set pieces from? 
Ау. Say again? Я нашел этот крутой ключ. У каждого ключа есть крутой. I thought you were saying this episode was from something else. Uh, well, no, this is this is famously the the lock and key uh, uh, comic book series. Недолго. Yeah, if you haven't seen the graphic novel Lock and Key, it's pretty amazing. I'm, I'm, I'm vaguely familiar with it. I thought you were saying that the uh, set was reused from something else. Oh Sorry. no 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 no! Like like you you could tell that they're they're very much like like um since it's in Russian, it's tempting to think like oh that's not the thing, but it's very clearly the thing. Molly, Mama говорит что нужно вернуться до темноты. Хорошо, иду. Oh, is that the Stranger Things kid? <laughs> Is it? Oh shit, it might be. That looked like it on Bitch, it might be. Back it up. That's the uh, Stranger Things kid. Is it? The main kid? I don't kid? know. I don't know. The kid that gets so. lost, right? No, no, no. The, uh, the other one, the, the main guy. Not uh, well, IMDB that shit. Let's find out. Oh. Well, we're watching this right now. So wait, this was in English. Yeah, but we're watching the the, the oh, Russian we're watching the dub. Russian dub <laughs> of the pilot for this yeah. thing. It doesn't appear IMDb actually has a cast list for the Lock and Key series. Hmm. We have a 2011 mo TV movie. Yeah, that'd be right. 2011? Yeah. Uh, pilot was in English, but uh... oh, then I'm looking at the wrong thing. I don't know. Like, like uh... that is that is not the kid from uh, Stranger Things. Hmm, okay. Kid is Skyler Gartner. Well, and SFW okay. Ben says, no, it was in Russian, then dubbed in English, and then dubbed back again to Russian. Uh, I really think, uh, like, 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 Lock and Key could be a series series, though. Yeah. Uh, it would have to be, like, on, like, a HBO or Netflix level of production, right? I mean, do you see it working on, on, on network television? Oh, I think so. I mean, because it, it's a lot of, like, uh... Horror shots, right? It's a lot of like someone's here, someone's not, someone's turning into somebody else. Like, you know, you don't need you. You really just need gigantic budgets when it's like four thousand people are fighting four thousand people, and either you need to fake that via CGI or you need to rent a gigantic field to shoot the the CGI stuff, right? Like, <laughs> yeah. you know, if it's just like it, it, it's all in one house and it's a bunch of you know, very personal in the dark SFX shots. You could totally do that on Fox. Uh, there's a poll pot going on right now asking, would you rather know the exact date of your death, know the exact cause of your death or poll pot? Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to go poll pot. I'm going to go cause of... I, your... I would go with cause as well. I do not want to know when. <laughs> well, but also it's like... All right. Well, okay. So, let, so let, if... let, let, let's, let's assume that in all this scenario mm -hmm. that your death is fixed, right? Like you can't change it. Right. right. Yep. Well, okay. So if you knew for a fact that you're going to die at the age of 97, like I feel like that would steer me to do a lot of irresponsible shit knowing that I'm fucking immortal until I'm 97. But you can't guarantee that the answer is going to be 97. It might be, you know, tomorrow. Well, okay, but also it doesn't guarantee that it's a pleasant time. I could I could bang my head and be in a coma and then finally expire that at too. 97. That, that too, yeah. The exact cause. Yeah, and plus, okay. so plus like, also, what? they're going to fuck with you. It's going to be like, oh, the exact cause of your death is a, a pulmonoid hematoma on the fourth cardio valve of your dooba And I'll so be then, all like, wait, 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 that doesn't mean anything. Why are you going, why are you both not going Pol Pot? Pol Pot's the only way to go. <laughs> like, like what, <laughs> what benefit does this knowledge bring you? I mean, in, in defense of the poll, it does list Pol Pot as the best, the best decision. Option. Yeah, the best option. <laughs> All right, well, let's see what the chat said. Uh, two want to know the exact date of your death. Two want to know the exact cause of your death. And 13 would pick Pol Pot. That's interesting. 
<laughs> you know, uh, there's actually there's actually a series of of uh, it's like an a short story anthology about this exact about this exact premise. Yeah, the machine of death. Okay, uh, and it, every story is its own universe, but basically, <laughs> in every story, there is a machine called the machine of death, and you it pricks your finger and you it's a great it takes, name. It takes a dollar. And it just pops out it a little a card. Dollar. It's like a dollar. <laughs> will, will it fall so for in, a Xerox of so, a dollar? <laughs> so in some universes, it's like dollar a mall holler kiosk. a dime a ride. <laughs> so like in some universes, it's like a mall kiosk. And then in some other universes, it's like military technology. Uh, but uh, it always pops out a little card that just says the thing that's going to kill you. So car accident or heart attack or like, uh, like, uh, 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 like, like some, there are some like nebulous ones too, like um, uh, heartbreak or something. Uh, and so there's a bunch of if you look them up, die they, of heartbreak. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Okay. Uh, and so it, they're really, it's they're really great anthologies. You should look them up there. Uh, Ryan Malky. No, Wait Ryan Malky. a minute. This uh, this reminds me of a. Uh, yeah. Is it 100 bullets? 99 bullets? Justin. 100. 100 bullets. 100 bullets. The, the best comic series that would be the most popular television series on the planet the day that it debuts. Uh, uh, do you want to tell me? I don't know anything about it. There's a hundred bullets. Each one has a different story, and a dude kills a lot of people. So it's the same dude. Uh, right? No. So the idea is, and this is the opening comic, right? That a uh, random old dude walks up to you, says, "Hey, here's a briefcase. In that briefcase is a gun. It's fully loaded. You got six shots." Uh, you can kill uh, whoever you want with it. Understand that these bullets are untraceable and that the people that they come from can get rid of any evidence that would detect you to that murder if you don't, like, literally murder somebody in front of a cop. Like, but, as long as you're in a closed room, don't worry. Like, the, there's nothing that can get back to you. The guy also, says, uh, there's case. only one rule. They better be interesting stories because you're in a comic book. <laughs> no, funny enough. Oh. They say also in that briefcase, here's a dossier. In that dossier, here is a uh, person that you hate and every reason why they personally and maliciously ruined your life. Photographs, text message records, like phone calls, like transcripts. All of it's there. As much as it would take to convict somebody of a crime, it is there in your hands. And so now you have to make the moral decision. Do you take the life of somebody who has objectively wronged you privately without any consequence or not? So, by the way, Mike TV is freaking out in the chat that uh, he uh, uh, knows the guy who did a thing. Uh, He did the covers for all of one hundred bullets, right? Dave which Johnson. which reminds oh, me, which reminds me that Mike TV uh, wrote for uh, Gargoyles, which we were talking about before. Uh, uh, the Gargoyles cartoon, the, car- the cartoon. Yeah. Oh, that was another great one. Yeah. Awesome. <sighs> Curtis uh, Rock, so also, this is basically a better version of the premise of the Purge. Uh, well, I mean, the, the the thing about Hundred Bullets that gets great is that, like, yeah, that moral, like, you know, one off story is always a strength for them. It's always their fastball, but like. The, the interesting part of that comic is you find out who is doing this and who has this power and why are there random people walking around offering this briefcase and they become the, the stars of the story as well as the random people that they are involving as you find out it's this like, you know, very Alex Jonesy like, you know, like Rothschild, like, you know, meeting sort of conspiracy, which is great. Oh, uh, by the way, I I need to get that. How how soon can we get Mike TV back on the show? Like uh, like uh, I mean, he, literally, he like he's in the chat back. room. Yeah. He'll start driving if you ask him. Like he can be at your house <laughs> in probably twenty minutes. He can be back tonight. Tonight. <laughs> All right, right on. Uh, no, no, I mean like next week. Yeah, Is we next week good? Yeah. Week. Well, if only he was watching right now and we could vaguely <laughs> allude to the fact that we'd like to have him on the show and he could indicate through, uh, yeah, no, he yeah, says so he'll be here in third 25 <laughs> minutes. Saying, I'll, okay. I'll email you, Mike, and How we'll about set next it up week? We'll say next, next week. week. Oh, my goodness. Done. Done and done. Hey, um, Bri. Yeah? I know you already shared one story today. Go on. That was White People Rich. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but... 
But if, he, but if you would be so kind as to <laughs> regale us with more tales of your wealth and indifference to the plight of those <laughs> less well off as you. You told me a really, a really wacky story today that the show was too crowded. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on, help me out here. What was it? <laughs> Your phone? Uh, Going to oh, the store? Yeah, okay, all right. Well, uh, okay, so. Just briefly. Okay. This doesn't uh, have to be... uh, full screen, Brian. <laughs> okay, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> no. Uh, okay, so. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. There's so really no, there's no busted. way, there, there's literally no way to accurately tell this story that doesn't sound like I'm an asshole. But, um, uh, so, okay, I have to pick up my daughter. Yeah. That's so great. That, from that's school. Fantastic. Yeah, yes. You're, that's very but then I have to take her to occupational therapy. Oh, that's great. You're providing yes. for her. Yes. And, and, yeah. Yes. But I have a problem. Uh, uh, two problems. One is that uh, I have to wait the hour while she's doing it. Number two, I have uh, a, a, a not so good earbuds. Uh, oh, your phone's earbuds. My, are my, my earbuds are, are 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 frayed and they're not connecting, and I keep having to twist it and 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 conversations. I mean, are listen, that, that that it's a problem. I've been on the phone with him. Like <laughs> it, it, it's a problem. Like he he needs new earbuds. That's a fact, man. I'll tell you what, like. <laughs> At, at any time over the last like two months that this has been a problem, he definitely could have solved it at any time, and he should have. Well, so and you've had so many phones, so I'm surprised you don't have extras no, lying around. I, 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 I well, I, in I, fact, I, he's told me, Justin, it'd be worth flying out to San Francisco so we could go to my old job, the Go Game. Where they have nothing but leftover earbuds lying around that I bragged to him about okay. previously. Uh, yeah, that that that's a thing. Um, but but today, <laughs> <laughs> today the thought was, well, I have an hour to kill. Uh, sure. I guess I could go to the Apple Store and and replace my earbuds. Totally um, reasonable. Very like. You have the time for it. They're not very expensive. You're just making a trip to the mall. So then begins the seduction of, <laughs> well, I mean, if I'm going to the Apple store, I mean, uh, I mean, is there a reason I shouldn't also, just buy the Also, by the, the way, new... hey, Brian, did you know uh, 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 when when did you buy your phone? <laughs> my, my, your, my, your my, my current oh, phone. Well, the, the phone that you were in in, in present time in this story. When yeah. did you buy it? Uh, like a year and a half ago. It's a, a 6 Plus. So did you know? Did you that, know? Yeah. But did you know? Did you know <laughs> that you, the warranty on your earbuds yeah. is two years. Yeah. It's, uh, oh, no, it is? So you can turn in your earbuds and get new earbuds at any time. That's that's like going not true. into an Apple store. That's that's factually not true because I definitely tried to do that. You're 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 tipping the end of the story, <laughs> where uh, where I tried to get that to to, to happen. Um, okay. Well, I did not know the end of the story, Curt so I apologize. <laughs> Curt Curt Curtis says it's only two years if you have Apple Care Plus. Yeah, I didn't have any of that crap. Sure. Uh, but I did have a nagging voice in my head saying, "Well, I mean, you get to physically go to the Apple Store. I mean, is there any reason you wouldn't buy the new iPhone?" And the answer was like, "Well, I don't, I don't need it. It's fine. I've got this other phone." It was like, "Yeah, but you very I mean, actively have not upgraded." Can I your phone. file a brief, uh, friend of the court? Uh, yes. Uh, I've noticed over the past few weeks that there's been a few more. Brian, hey, what iPhone do you got? <laughs> oh, <laughs> you like it? Yeah, no, it's great. It's a seven plus. It's great. <laughs> like, oh, okay, cool. I mean, it's just, few more of those. Few more of those. Than there more. So, so, more. so the deciding factor was was like. <laughs> By the way, bad weave in the Twitch. Go fundme. dot com slash wpr. Well, and so, so, so what happened was is I is is the the voice got me when it said, uh, "What do what do you?" And like the laughing part of my brain said, "What do you?" Gonna wait eight months for the next one. 
And I was like, all right, well, fuck you. I guess I'm going to get it. And so I got it. And then I, and, and then on my way out, I was like, oh, also, can you replace these earbuds? I just bought a new phone. And they were like, well. <laughs> <laughs> So you're you trying wanna, to replace, you replace old earbuds <laughs> that will not work on the new, new phone. Earbud that, by the way, does not share the same conductor. They, 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 <laughs> same input. Just putting that together, those old buds aren't gonna work even. <laughs> well, because because I mean, it's the principle of the thing. I've still got it's this. The you only one of the earbuds. I want. They do I provide it. an adapter. They provide an adapter. You, you realize Sorry. they they just assumed you were like every other. Old ass adult who doesn't understand that you can't plug the earbuds into the new phone. No, well, and so and so they said, well, let me look at it, and they're like, oh, I'm sorry, your phone's out of warranty. Uh, the the earbuds are tied to the phone. Uh, there's nothing I could do, and I was like, oh, okay, all right. Uh, and they're like, it'll so be so instead 20, of saying, they, let here's let me buy some new earbuds. Right. I said, can I have some new earbuds? <laughs> and and they said, oh. no. Oh, geez, uh, and, then, very... and then I said, oh, okay. And then there's the, like, you can pay us $26. I was like, yeah. And then, uh, and then I started to walk away. And then <laughs> taking pity on the poor Brian with a bag with a $1,000 new phone in it. This is all after you bought the phone. <laughs> yes! Why did you start with the earbuds? Wait, hold on. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait, you did not get earbuds with the phone? It I comes got with them. It does come with them. I got the lightning earbuds. <laughs> but uh but 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 I came in for the thing. So I said there are two things I so want. So you still want Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So you want earbuds that you can still plug into other shit. You just want new versions yes. of that. So I walk up to the guy. I'm like, I want two things: a new iPhone and replacement and earbuds. New old earbuds. <laughs> yes, that I can't use with the new phone. And he goes, Well, the earbuds. Let's do after. We are even lock you in to this new phone deal. So wait, hold on, wait a minute. I, I'm just now catching up to the betrayal you felt on the fact that they fucking locked they you into buying you. a new phone. They played you so And then we're like, much. Hey. Like, like the thing that you were really excited about, you're like, they're like, eh, I don't know, dog. Fucking, well, you already paid this. Fucking one k. <laughs> yes. Oh man, I did not even realize they played you. I thought this was just like a weird order operation. No, they. <laughs> no, I'll tell you what. Not Nesh, it's oh DJ Khaled. Congratulations, dog. You, you played, played yourself. <laughs> so I made. So they hand me over, and the guy says, uh, "No, sorry, your but phone's like, out of warranty." Jim says, "Scam school, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Scam school, oh yeah." God damn it! There really is a GoFundMe. <laughs> Whoa, unto oh. Brian Brushwood. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> The poor story of a man who just wanted to buy an Xbox One and said it's kids, kids, uh, horse camp. Oh, my God. And buy iPhones without judgment. Oh, my God. This is fucking amazing. Oh, my God. Just a $1 million goal, guys. It's a $1 million goal. He just needs a million. He'd have oh to buy the God. phone and the earbuds, you guys. <laughs> It's pretty compelling. This video, is GoFundMe. <laughs> I hope no one is like gonna actually put money into this. <laughs> Please, by the way, nobody put Just money into that, that even you... as a joke. That's not going to us or anybody. Oh I'm my going God. right now to put one dollar into it. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> son of a <laughs> bitch, Harry! <laughs> the guy who made it just goes. So, uh, how do you delete this? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! So, um. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you got a, so you got you got two new things today. You had a fun day today. Uh, yeah. Well, I bought a I bought an iPhone and then oh, so so the guy says no, your phone's out of warranty, and I'm like oh okay, um yeah yeah you know I figured it was worth at least asking, and I go and I start stepping off and and, and or like <laughs> buying them. Well, I figured you one of the options when you walked in would be well, like I will buy the new okay. Ear, the that would have been it if I wasn't if I didn't buy the phone. But I bought a well, phone, phone and it wouldn't work with the new phone. Yeah, exactly, phone right? So, so, so I'm like, oh, okay, no worries. And I go to walk, and the guy goes, "Well, wait." And I'm like, "What?" And he's like, "Well, do you have like any other phones that maybe are in warranty?" And I'm like, oh, "Well, probably Bonnie's phone. Uh, you know, I'm holding kids. up this one. I'm like, I just bought this I one, and <laughs> Bonnie <laughs> has one. And and <laughs> he and a warranty claim on this phone I just bought. Yeah, and the guy, That's the guy's funny. like, "Well, those use the lightning connector," and I'm like, "Yeah, no, it's fine. Don't worry about it." And the guy goes, "Well, hold on. 
maybe I can make an exception. <laughs> and he goes, boop, boop, beep, boop, 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 boop. And then just hands me new earbuds. That uh, And what's funny is on my way out, I'm listening to my Arthur C. Clarke short stories. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, uh, I'm like, I don't know. Maybe I won't get around. Yeah, man, uh, do I really need this new phone? <laughs> I really got what I wanted, which was new earbuds. Uh, so anyway, I'm a terrible person, and you guys. No, should... I'm not. I'm sorry. I, I'm not. I did not bring that up to make you twist this one. I think I'm so like, at but also... on Twitter. Tell him he's a good person. Yeah. He's a good person. Everybody at Schwood on Twitter. He's a good, everybody. He's gonna retweet everybody who says Go. he's a good person. Everybody. Brian will retweet everybody Go. who right now just tweets. You're a good person. Everybody, go to GoFundMe.com slash woe-unto-brian-brushwood. I think he's deleting it as we're speaking. Uh, Real real quick, Brian, the the question that is lingering at the end now, I want to know, did you bring your white people rich up to a new level and get the better Apple Care so that your new earbuds are covered? Oh, dude. Hey, uh, by the way, I I ruined all of that insurance getting – you what? know, that was my first job out of out of college was working at an extended warranty company. And okay, I yeah, figured yeah. out really fast that our job was not to actually fix anything. Our job was to make up enough bullshit that people eventually either gave up or got so mad that they threatened to sue us, at which point we would actually dispatch someone. Like mm-hmm. it was a it was wow. a really weird That's thing a to figure out that that like between the lines they're all like, yeah, you know, you just sort of kind of sent a guy out, and those are expensive. I mean, it just seems uh, like maybe but, but you by could. By the way, uh, Captain Fubar just says, uh, you worked at GameStop? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Like, 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 uh, it, it, it messed me up, where it's like, I'll never get an extended warranty for anything. Uh, and I'm, also, I'm show... I, got, I got an extended warranty for my last car, not the one I have now, but the piece of junk that I bought in Virginia. Yep. And- it was at a no-name, tiny dad and son dealership, and yep. so it had an extended warranty thing, but it wasn't like a name brand thing. It was just like, yep, put a little cash down and we'll cover some stuff. Yep. So when I went to go use it, they they were like, "Oh, cool. Do you have your record of your oil changes?" Yeah, 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 and it's yeah, like, yeah, what? Yeah. That, yeah. Uh, what? So thankfully, I had a real great. I had a. I was at a really great mechanic shop where they happened to find all of my oil changes. Yeah. Ah, oh, no, isn't that convenient? That's, that's really convenient. So yeah. I actually ended up making making out on that, but that would have really screwed well, me over. That's the other thing, too, is that uh, like uh, when we bought our first house, um, God, WPR, uh, the, uh, <laughs> um, uh, we, we, we bought an, an extended warranty on the house, and the guy who came out mm-hmm. said, yeah, so you know, like, we're not supposed to actually fix stuff. We're supposed to make the problem Find temporary stop. Yeah. Like, like, like they're like, if the problem is that smoke is coming, you know, carbon monoxide is flowing into your house, our job is to put a piece of tape over the hole, not to correct the carbon monoxide going into your house. And so it's like, oh, Garrett. Okay, right. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Uh, my white people rich is about the show, but I got the extended warranty on the most recent living room that we purchased. Then I had a. Oh, just shit! Got a... Yeah. Is rich. Oh, Care my God. Is yeah, it was a white fucking awful Garrett. experience white getting someone to come Garrett. out. <laughs> white people, Garrett. White people, Garrett. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, I have new earbuds. Uh, you They're are great. actually, by the way, Garrett, uh, uh, for real. Not but an an hour and change drive. Like if you have nothing to do over the next like two weekends, uh, hit up Crystal River Dog. Some of the manatees. Hey is legit. man, for reals. Uh, we're we're uh, in fact today I got the phone call. Uh, uh, uh it turns out all the Airbnbs, all of the um, uh, what do you call it? the VRBOs? Uh, all of them are liars, and none of them are available. So I ended up calling the hotel we stayed at and i was yep. like hey do you remember us and they're like yeah i remember you and i was like let me tell you a story uh, the, the, <laughs> oh, uh <shit. laughs> no uh but but they 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 remembered us and uh and then i was like seriously like that was a religious experience i had i want to bring the kids um and they were like well we've got one room and i'm like what are the odds in the next two weeks that someone's going to cancel. And she's like, 100%. And so today she called and she said uh, two rooms. So we're all good. 
So nice. y'all are going to be, uh, I don't even, we, we, I don't know if we should say where, where it is, but it's a great hotel. It's a great and, hotel. It's, it's a amazing. fine hotel. We're, we, uh, I, 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 I just just bought the, uh, uh, not flying Southwest. I, I don't what? have points. I don't have, I don't have enough points for it. So. And it's still not the cheapest option? No, not by, uh, like, like. By a thousand dollars, it's not the cheapest. Oh option. wow! But you're not going on like Spirit or something, right? Oh no! no, no. Okay. Oh no! Oh, oh golly! Oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> what? <laughs> not getting on that bus with wings. <laughs> also, by the way, never fly Spirit. I, I don't. Yeah, they're gonna shit how poor you are. Literally, like you are going to wind up spending more money on Spirit, like than you will, like. Southwest or JetBlue yeah. or like, well, like, like, just go with like the understandable budget airlines. Like, like Spirit is literally just a fucking card game that is there to yeah. swim you at it's, money. It's 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 a flying fox trap, is what it is. Like, yeah. oh come on, it's super cheap fares. It's like literally, if you are flying naked and will lose five pounds while you're flying, <laughs> you will actually get the fare. That you have paid for, right? <laughs> what is this? Oh, wow. We've got a photo that, of you guys some playing. That's old archival footage of me and you, bro. Playing highlight. Oh, you think you're going to wipe me right out? I thought for some reason this was like a brazier. Uh, oh, no, I, I no, no, that. yeah. Can... No, that's actually yeah. like a standard highlight thing. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, um, at any rate, uh, I'm going to go find that pup. I'm going to find it. I'm going to stare at it right in the face. And I'll be uh, like, remember me, pup? Uh, how how cute was that thing when it was barking underwater? Adorbs. I mean, again, like literally it was. Uh, all right. So let me ask. All right. Let me have Florida to Florida. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I guess I'll just be jerking off in the corner. Old Texas what over is here. Your, you, just calm down, Brian. <laughs> Jesus. Uh. Manatees, go. Uh, they're majestic. They're phen phenomenal animals. It, 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 growing up in Florida, um, I heard I caught a little bit of, of you and Brian talking about your Florida experience. And Brian, you're apparently very excited to see an alligator. Alligators are bullshit. You see them all the fucking time. It's not rare to see them. They're a dime a dozen. Manatees are a really rare sight. Baby manatees, even rarer. Uh, so no manatees. That's a, that's a, that's a fucking can, fine man. Can, if you get to see manatees, can I, can I share what Justin said the moment he found out we were going to hang with manatees? Yep. He said, uh, man, that's going to be super depressing. And I was like, why? He's like, cause they'll all be the chopped up corpses of manatees that don't know they're dead yet. <laughs> <laughs> floating around with with with, with uh, uh, you ever you ever see manatees gone through a Swiss cheese spiral? Just woo, 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 woo. no, I, no. I'll fuck. I'll guarantee this. And I, Garrett, like we have never talked about this, but if you have grown up in Tampa, I grew up in fucking Orlando. Anybody yep. that boated that saw manatees saw yep. fucked up, mutilated, like fucking like it's like really I've exciting because they're the most like 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 majestic animals you've ever seen as a kid, and yet they are this like bizarre Mary Shelley creature, fucking like aquatic disaster that you've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, they should be they should be fucking terrifying. They're these giant gray Plato monsters. Uh, and yet they, for whatever reason, just inspire this overwhelming sense of peace when you see them. Because they, I've seen, I've no, seen but, nothing but, else but, in my but, life but that has less. The boat scars. The boat scars. They got these gigantic scars down their back. And they're like, yes. like you know that it's because, like, like it's because like, you're there. You've yeah, seen yeah. them and you've caused I, their fucking you, injury. It, it, like, it's scarring as a child. If, if you grew up in Florida, you've seen just about every matter of sea life in a horribly fucked up scenario. That's uh, a fact. Although, that being said, for whatever reason, um, I see that as a positive. Because I've, I've been to zoos where, they're, where they don't have animals in it that need the help. And that's way more depressing than me. At least I'm like, well, at least, you know, they get to live. They're being helped. They need the help. It, that, that bothers me less than, uh, you know, just... <laughs> Breeding but, shit see, but imagine that thing. No, 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 no. Put, 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 put that back on. Put that back on. Uh, imagine that, but its back is fucking like slash like fucking Kunta Kinte. Like, <laughs> it like looks, yeah, it, 
It looks like uh, it, it, it survived the Inquisition. Exactly. Oh, and if we're going to not use so much of a racially loaded term, <laughs> sure. Like, uh, it is just fucking mutilated. Like, imagine that, Like, but on its back, it is awful. Hey. And that is the scarring moment that I saw as a child that when, when it was described to us that we're going to go swimming with manatees, I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm super glad that they're going to get from the – from the top, a million horribly scarred creatures. Turns out, there's a lot of them that aren't. And yeah, I'm dude. really glad. <clears throat> yeah, no, that's the amazing part. Like, some of them, like, were covered in barnacles. Here's the satellite footage on Apple Maps of of what that area looked like. That's an accurate depiction of what we saw, right, Justin? Yeah. Oh, no, fact, fact. No, it was awesome. It's Garrett, literally, I'm not even fucking with you. Holy like, shit. Yeah, like a like get get an Airbnb on that river, and just dive in, snorkel, and uh, not even fins, like literally just snorkel, and that's it. Snorkel a mask, you're good. Like swim with manatees all goddamn day. They, they do have like a like at the local dive shop. They're all like, hey, also invite me. Yeah, uh, yeah, dude. Uh, <laughs> at the local dive shop, they got this whole like. Uh, <laughs> they get, so so they got this whole video of all the do nots, right? And they have very precise, explicit video of people doing these do nots. Don't poke them. Don't don't touch them. Don't feed them water. Don't disturb them <laughs> while they're trying to sleep and all this stuff. And they're showing video of all that. And so it ends. And Justin and I both have the same question: like, um, so do you, do you pay actors to harass the? Manatees in these <laughs> these very specific ways. Did you uh, actually right. also, ask them also, this also from that moment? I'm gonna take it another level back. <laughs> uh, it is made very very clear to us, and it is in fact part of the justification of why we need to buy a plane to fly there as opposed to driving. That Brian and I as talent for this vacation we're doing by ourselves uh, it was a very talented vacation that we had on our own very talented vacation <laughs> uh that we needed to see these videos right so eventually after all the like hoopla of us getting there and unpacking and meeting people and everything it's like okay y'all gotta see these videos and it's literally on youtube it's YouTube videos from a like randomly hung display uh, from a dive shop. Oh shit! This is this is the Sarasota Herald Tribune. That's Moat Marine. That's the that's the freaking aquarium I grew up going to. Oh wow! Wow! <laughs> uh, oh, oh, uh, right there in the lower left corner, Moat Marine. I'm gonna, guess yes. it's like, I'm, I'm gonna guess it's like uh, manatee guidelines or something. I'm sure it or federal guidelines or something. So like, so so. Uh, going back to where to where Brian uh, uh, was in his story, we finish watching this video and we both have the exact same goddamn question: How on fucking earth do you have you all this get footage? footage of people fucking with these manatees? <laughs> <laughs> and and it's all very explicit footage of them definitely fucking with manatees, petting them while they're trying to sleep, uh, feeding them, uh, 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 kicking them and all this stuff. And no, it's like there's literally a video where a slow motion stick starts coming in from off camera to, <laughs> to poke, poke a manatee man. in its eye. Yes. Like, it's just, yes. it's just a slow think... motion stick. Dude, this might be it. This might be it. Uh, fines up to $100,000 and or a year in jail. Uh, yes. Oh, yeah. my God. This is it. <laughs> from the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Passive so, so like. means calmly observing manatees from a distance. And, and by the, the way, all of these are very reasonable guidelines. It's a, it's a fine video, and we certainly observed all of them. No, 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 no. Please observe this. Like, <laughs> yes. Uh, this is not them over-prescribing Manatees, uh, and actually, hey, pause this. But, pause but this, here's pause what's this. fascinating, is watch the explicit footage they have of people violating all these, and think of Justin and I standing in a dive shop like, how do you, how do you get that shot? How do uh, you? All right, here. Uh, real quick, if you are ever in the water with manatees, what they don't say is the more you are just still and act like a manatee, right. the more they will actually come up to you. Yeah, the more like, they think so, you're just so a like, manatee and they're super chill. That's actually the way to go. So here, but but play this because people are fucking with manatees. <laughs> <in this video. laughs> 
undisturbed access to the springs is critical to the manatee's survival. Resting manatees can be found near the water's surface, partially submerged in the water column or laying on the water Which, bottom. by the way, we found out that literally half their brain goes to sleep and the other half of the brain says, ugh, guess I gotta breathe. <laughs> and comes up, takes a little gulp of air, and then goes back down, like, let's right? get back to sleep. In the same that way awesome. that you would wander to the bathroom, take half a piss, and then go back to bed. <laughs> Manatees may remain almost motionless before moving to the surface to breathe, then returning to the original resting position. This means that resting manatees may be found moving while resting, and it is your responsibility not to disturb them. Damn straight. Recreating close to manatees is a privilege that comes with serious personal responsibility. In the next few minutes, the rules that prevent manatee harassment will be Whoa. shown, Whoa. followed by additional recommendations that will improve if the you're quality a fish, of your experience. Don't poke at a manatee. Uh, dude, by the manatee way, sanctuary. like, uh, 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 real quick, pause it. Justin pointed out, like, like just how far the bar shifts, like on all of your snorkeling that you've ever done. Yeah. Like if you're if you're if you're off the coast of Cancun and it's spring break 1994 and you're drunk and swimming around or whatever, like you see a school of fish, you're like, oh damn, there's a school of fish. Like all of a sudden you're there and it's like, oh damn, this school of fish is biting the barnacles and seaweed off of this manatee. I guess. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, yeah, that manatee's red. Get the red. fuck out of the way, you <laughs> shitty school of fish. I'm trying to wash this majestic sea cow, you yeah. motherfucker. <laughs> From humans during the cold winter months. Manatee sanctuaries are designated by large orange and white buoys. Let's see if we can get some... some... Yeah, oh, here, here we go. go. Here we go. go. Don't go. chase the manatees. Or resting or feeding manatee. Oh, oh by it. the way, shown here, Diving touching and <laughs> resting manatees. Manatee. To don't diving dive onto a resting manatee. Surrounding a manatee. Oh God! Depicted here, cornering a manatee. <laughs> riding, holding, grabbing, or pinching a manatee. Shown here, riding, pinching, grabbing, and holding manatees. Poking, prodding, or stabbing a manatee with. <laughs> He's fucking kicking him with his flipper. <laughs> it's like <laughs> the stick. Oh, There's the slow motion <laughs> stick. Stepping on a manatee. But don't step on that poor baby. These guys are trying to do like fucking river dance. Or separating a manatee from a group. <laughs> so it turns out that all of this footage. Do you guys have a guess as to how oh, they get yeah, it? Yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah. Take, take, take this off because we got, we got, we got stories. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna assume that it's they've made their own compilation from jackasses uh, on YouTube posting this, the videos of them doing this on vacation. Close, no. close. So it turns out that uh, if you are over the age of 60 and want to volunteer, that uh, you can form an elite brigade of manatee peepers who oh snap who be watching uh, people and like when you see somebody misbehaving, you don't you don't say excuse me that's really impolite that's not what the federal guidelines say you're supposed to do with manatees instead you record it and find them you fucking whip out that, oh. that GoPro you get that GoPro and uh uh we we heard stories about like you know families that you know came down from Massachusetts and we're like oh manatee let's poke a manatee okay that was fun let's go back to Massachusetts oh we landed and in the intervening flight time they uh, 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 alert of the feds. The feds went to the dive 1. shop. 1.5k fine. Ta-da, motherfuckers. Wow. Yeah. You get home, um, it's like, oh, you got a manatee poking bill, and it's this much. Is it weird that people who do that shit to animals like really makes me mad? Like it gets me in a in a deep. Oh, like, dude. Well, then you would relate to these uh, awesome volunteers whipping out your jitterbug phone and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. clicking the like, I'm, I'm all those people. No, 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 no. Like, listen, listen. No, Garrett, 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 I'm with you. Like, 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 this is uh, a, a, a natural wonderland. You need to protect it. Uh, however, I'm just going to let you know in terms of the sensitivity of the people that were there, uh, Brian and I both separately in different situations found ourselves like next to 
or like around manatees because they are just so prevalent there and wound up either getting literally like mass to nose with them or accidentally because they were behind or like them like, bumping like, into you like, or whatever. Yeah, that, that, that's not what I'm, I'm talking about. The like, motherfucker like kicking a manatee. Whoa, 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 that whoa, 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 whoa. Our liaison had to go meet with the federal government because of what we did. Uh, well, why? Well, uh, Moon dog told me. Moon dog told me. Like because, like because of what we did, he had to go talk. Like because of where we were and what we, we were we doing. Were just God knows too what. Too close to the border. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, it's it's tough because the uh, uh, the current is blowing you, and you're doing your best to to adhere to everything. Uh, and then meanwhile, uh, they definitely have. All I'm saying is, streets was watching. Streets was watching, and and they probably got tape on it, and and like that's the only way that you get those perfect angles is if cameras are rolling twenty four seven by way of volunteers. You don't get free flowing cameras getting all those good angles at all the perfect times unless they are always motherfucking going. <laughs> I'm I'm so okay with that. It's I feel like a like almost like an old man. I don't know. Like I'm like yeah, find those whippersnappers who are standing on manatees. Uh, no, I mean like the, those people deserve to be cracked. I mean like listen, we we both fell in love. I, I'm gonna say this, and and don't at me. Manatees are better than dolphins. That's I, a fact. I, 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 I get pretty stoked when I see either of them, so I'm not going to pick a side on that. Pick a side, pick a side, pick a side. I still go with dolphins. Traitor. Dolphins are freaking cool, man. Traitor. No way, dude. Uh, <laughs> dolphins are the frat boys of, uh, of, of, of mammalian aquatics. They're, I've seen more uh, manatees in my life than dolphins, so I get Dude, pissed. manatees are the big Lebowski. Uh, uh <laughs> Dolphins are are um, uh, Steve Holt. <laughs> Steve Holt <laughs> was innocent. Uh, well, no, he was a bully in high school. He was, he was, he was a dumbass. Yeah. <laughs> he owned his own business, though, in the end. Yeah, fair enough. Oh, that's right. How about the, this? Uh, All the, the shit in the, the ocean is super cool. Whatever, yeah. Stop, stop maiming and killing it. <laughs> uh, hey, wait, so, so how much do we know about this dinosaur expansion? Uh, nothing at all. <laughs> nothing uh, at all other than maybe the name and maybe it's the next, next expansion. Sorry. Hey, look, it's a dolphin. <laughs> this is Derek Rector Gus. Or I D think Rector I went to work for with that kid once. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. That's my old friend. The, the, the director. <laughs> D-Rector. D-Rector Gus. Yeah. Uh, D-Rector short. That looks like... The venue, um, the gorge in George, comma Washington. Yeah. Uh, by the way, none of my friends have abs. <laughs> nope. Nope. Hmm. Beer gut. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you were asking about the Hearthstone expansion. Somebody was. Oh yeah, there's. I mean, there's nothing. It was uh, the title of what is probably the next expansion on a voice actor's resume. That's as far as it's gone. Holy cow. Repaired Winter 6 in the chat says he's 20 minutes from the gorge. Um, that was one of my favorite venues that uh, that we did the uh... – god damn it. What the fuck? <laughs> what <laughs> is this? Okay. Yeah. This, this is old. I, man, this – that I think is our first Christmas in the apartment. Oh, wow. and, the, and, and so someone has uh, photoshopped the yeah, Rock and Harambe. Rock and Harambe. That's amazing. Ashley! It uh, it 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 seems like a tribute yeah. to the um, uh, the pizza gif uh from Stranger Things. Chip. Exactly. Oh yeah. God. Oh no, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Let, from, let me show uh, Ashley this Emmys? before you uh before you turn it off. But then then we got to definitely show the fucking. Uh... <laughs> The uh, what's her name? What's her name? Why can I not remember her name? Yeah. <laughs> Winona Ryder. <laughs> yeah, Winona Ryder. That's what it is. I, it was <laughs> I know, but it's pretty good. 
Oh my God! What about, what is it? Uh, 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 fucking Beetlejuice. Who's Beetlejuice girl? Uh, Win- Winona, Winona Ryder. Ryder. Yeah, Winona Ryder. Here we go. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. Here we, go. we got it. We here you go. go. <laughs> here we go. Celebrated Stranger <laughs> Things, but this award from you, who take your craft seriously and earnestly believe, like me, that great acting can change the world, is a call to arms from our fellow craftsmen and women to go deeper and through our art to battle against fear, self-centeredness, and exclusivity. <laughs> I just want to. I, I just want to see the sheriff just uh, punch out everybody and take the award. <laughs> he goes sneaking around, just punching everyone down. <laughs> That's great. I like that you just refer to him as the sheriff. I mean, is he anything but? Dude, by the way, I feel like that was the best commercial during the Super Bowl. Like, like that was the only one that I was like, "Fuck yes." Oh, uh, and the fact that, uh, like, it took, god damn it. <laughs> Your, our memes are becoming cyclical now. Now we have a rocking. <laughs> we have a, a rocking manatee. Rockin manatee with a flying V guitar. Um, I'll tell you what, it's the only picture that Crystal River Zoo doesn't want you to see. <laughs> That's so great. I love it. I, I I will admit, I got I got pretty jazzed for the, the, the Pirates trailer that showed during the Super Bowl. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean? Yeah. yeah. I didn't have see you it. seen every one of them in I the theaters? I have, I have seen every one of them. I I refute your reality and substitute my own. I uh I thought the second one was pretty good. I I I find them fun uh and entertaining and I look forward to the next one. They seem like fantasy need for speeds. They seem like Need for Speed well, yeah, from Lord of the Rings. Yeah, I, I, you just I would suck make the, the joy argument, uh, right out of it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I guess. lots of people love Need for uh, not Need for Speed, Too Fast, Too Furious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, yeah, no. Yeah, no, no I, fa- I know what you meant, and I. that's funny. I'm a huge Fast and the Furious fan. I would make the argument that Fast and the Furious is, uh, especially the sequels, a higher quality than the Pirate sequels. But, oh, yes, I get well, what no, you're no, getting no, at. No, so would I, so would I. Because you want to know what? Uh, pirate sequels can't attract the top talent. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because like, they don't have if, a... If, if, I'll tell you what. Give me a pirate sequel featuring Jason Statham, The Rock, no, nope. uh, and Charlie nope. Theron. No, nope. I'm in. Charlie Theron, yes. <laughs> no to Jason Statham and no to. Oh, are you the, the fuck? Rock oh, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize that the pirate sequels were so hoity-toity <laughs> that you couldn't uh, accommodate The Rock and Jason Statham. <laughs> Boy, I gotta get off this pirate ship. Or my wooden <laughs> leg will explode. Oh, oh, hey. I mean, like, actually, Jason Statham would be the only person who wouldn't need to put on an accent to be in a pirate movie, right? Yeah, but he would refuse to put on a wig, so I'd, I would just oh, be right. watching the fucking transport. He's like, oh, fuck. yeah, the barnacles brushed off my hair. Punch! <laughs> oh, I'm so ready for the next Fast and the Furious. Uh... Oh my God! No, the, the the Fast and the Furious franchise is like just the best thing that's ever happened to movies, right? Yeah, it, I mean, to me, I look at it and I'm just like, you know, the people over at Marvel, you know, working on the Marvel Cinematic Universe, just have to be pissed as hell because Fast and the Furious just stumbled into on accident a cinematic universe, and Marvel has been like working and bleeding to try and make it work well. Oh no 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 no. DC, DC looks at Fast and the Furious and is like, how is it so easy? Well, no, 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 like, no, 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 no. Like, DC like, looks at Mar- every other Marvel's movie and asks, how money. is it so DC's easy? DC's like, we have Superman. Would you like to see Superman fight the Batman, maybe? Is that something <laughs> that you'd like to see? No, no I, I'm, I'm just making the argument because Marvel, it, it, it's good, but it looks like they're trying hard. Fast and the Furious is good, and it, I don't think they're trying. <laughs> oh, God, no, no, no. Like, they are trying. That's always what makes it great, right? Because there's at some point in every movie since the second one, or or I guess mm, the fifth one when he came back, when Tyrese says, "Ah, I'm scared of a larger vehicle. And they have (laughs) to keep figuring out a larger vehicle for Tyrese to be scared about. (laughs) Like, that takes effort. I mean, because at some point you got to figure out what's bigger than an aircraft carrier, <laughs> and it turns out it's a submarine. Yeah. While you're driving a real wheel drive Lamborghini across the snow. Shh. <laughs> Stop thinking. 
My favorite thing about uh, new Fast and the Furious trailers uh, is the one joke my one buddy pulls out every single time, and it never gets old for me. Is it? It comes up, it ends, and he turns to me and goes, "Do you remember when this shit was about boosting radios and DVD players?" <laughs> Now there's like a fucking wrecking balls coming down the street, taking out cops, yep. people breaking out of prison. They just they, in the in the trailer for the new Fast and the Furious, they straight up murder like six cops <laughs> yep. in the trailer, <laughs> and nobody blinked, like bats an eye. No one gives a shit. Nope, nope. It's worse than anything Heath Ledger's Joker did in The Dark Knight, but we're all cheering. Because of the Fast and the Furious film. Because I don't know. Wait, is Vin Diesel evil? I don't know. He kissed the retarded girl from season three of Arrested Development. <laughs> Wait, what? Was, that was Charlie Theron? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my mind was just blown. Wait, you they, didn't know that? That was like I the whole. That. that was the whole gimmick. They make a reference to it. They even have a picture, a, a photo, like a screen cap from they, Monster in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They even reference Monster. Yeah, yeah. Huh. Uh, and then she walks across uh, water because she's like a, a holy person. Well, well and it was and also then... gimmick for the wedding. Right. I mean, yeah. I don't know. I may have watched that I'm season that. 50 times. <laughs> Mr. F. Uh, <laughs> dude, right. literally, like Arrested Development is the one thing, and I might be fresh on this because I've literally just gone through it, where... I can't sleep in hotels unless I watch a thing I've watched before. Do you really? do this, Brian? No. Do, do, do I, fall it's, asleep it's, it's, to, it's the to opposite TV? for me. I can't do anything I've done before or else it gives me a grip to hold on to consciousness with. Oh, like, And in fact, it can't be anything visual. Mm -hmm. uh, I, 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 like years – it's probably been a decade since I've given up um, ever having any kind of visual medium on – that I go to bed with. It's it's all got to be audio only because mm. it's okay for because like I don't care if it's a fucking advertisement for a uh, you know for a you know highlight uh, for highlight. Uh, uh, <laughs> my 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 eyes will be like, well, I don't know what's highlight look like, and then uh, I'll keep opening them. Yeah, uh, I yeah, used I've, to do I've... what you do, Justin, is I would watch King of the Hill or Futurama or or the development a million times. So I. Well, I can or American Oh, it's the exact same thing. You know exactly yeah. what's happening, and you, then you go to sleep. Yeah, yeah. I put on I put car on shows that aren't Top Gear because <laughs> I don't care about. Oh, that okay. Much. So boring ass shit that isn't the best of the boring ass shit genre. Yeah, I right? really like Top Gear. I really like the Grand Tour. Uh, I really like cars, but I am barely interested in anyone else's car show. <laughs> gotcha. No, yeah, it's always. Dust Till Dawn, Pulp mm. Fiction, or Arrested Development. Those no, are the, for, like the, 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 the surefire things that I can fall asleep to when I'm me, on the road. When I'm, when I'm in my bed, I can fall asleep, whatever. But on the road, I for whatever reason, there's just like this energy I need to calm down. For me, it says uh, <clears throat> the I want it to be something that conceivably I will be able to finish. So... The ideal is one of those like fourteen to sixteen minute um, uh, 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 podcasts or something, like uh, like, uh, uh, like a new episode saying. of like Skeptoid or something, oh, nice. where it's like, hey, it's fourteen minutes long and it's like a game I play. It's like I'm gonna lay down, close my eyes, and I'm gonna make it to the end, you know. And then uh, <laughs> yeah, it's it's perfect. I've been doing that with podcasts a lot lately too, but I'll set the sleep timer to be like. 15 oh to yeah, 30 minutes. well, well, and and that's if I, if I'm doing an audio book, uh, you know, then I, the first thing when I wake up is like, well, I, I clearly don't off? remember any of that. 15 minutes, yeah. and then go back. But it, but it's always like that set deadline of like a contest of 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 can you make it? And the answer is hopefully no. Hmm. Usually, I just get so into the podcast that I turn it back on after the sleep have timer. You, have you listened to that weird ass podcast where it's just a dude rambling for two hours? with the intention of you falling asleep listening to him? Harmontown? The jury show? God damn it. All right, fuck both of you. <laughs> no, none of no, you I are haven't. correct. Um, I have not heard about that. So, so uh, my Bim Bam just did like an ASMR episode. Uh, my brother and mother and me. Sleep Too Strange is the name of it. Uh and for example, here's that sounds one like a porn. It's it's <laughs> just find anything. Just, just 
click on literally any moment Here and and take a listen. It's it's really weird. Uh, sleep, it's just a dude uh, hey, continuing. Tonight's episode of Sleeps is Strange is brought to you by all our patrons on Patreon. So so jump midway to keep... this forty minute broadcast. Oh, Here it is. Uh, good afternoon, gentlemen. Uh, we wanted to let you know the uh, quarantine is going quite well. And we're ready to start the next phase of your quarantine. Now, we, we call it here the human quarantine. And we, 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 we laugh back here when we say that. But you seem to be in both excellent health. And we're going to conduct a test now. J- jump 10 minutes well forward. You think you'll... Sure. Why don't you take the next one? Uh, do you get it so far? I believe I do. We just threw it. I think so. Uh, settlements, cities usually border two to three terrain types. They can harvest three. Okay, ten minutes forward. Ten minutes. So the conceit is that this is a <laughs> conversation of people rolling. learning how to play Catan. Does anyone want to trade their card? <laughs> this will be so <laughs> and now you may build a road or a settlement or a city, buy development cards, and play one development card. This is great. Oh this God. is like the widget cube, uh, the fidget cube of podcasts. <laughs> That's cool. That is freaking hilarious. Um, yeah. My problem is, uh, I don't know about you guys, but like when I have guests over, and if they're like two of my, you know, guy friends from college that still for whatever reason stay up drinking, and I can hear them talking, I cannot fucking sleep, and that's exactly what that sounds like. <laughs> You're like, shut up, shut up, shut the fuck up, God damn it, people, we're not twenty two anymore. <laughs> wow, amazing. he's done. Over 450 episodes. This is amazing. Yeah. And his Patreon is huge. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, uh, oh, give, give me oh, 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 me oh, me Patreons are following this guy. Holy shit. It's so huge, he did the thing where you can turn off how much it shows. How much oh, shit. Wow. White people rich. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Hey, that's another thing we found out on the road is that ultimately Brian and I rely on the <laughs> Captain Morgan impression. Uh, in public, we suddenly just sort of evolve into it. When you're alone and you say, well, there's a bunch of strangers. <laughs> Well, is there? Hey, fuck hey, you, you don't know me. This impression turns out we can pull it out whenever we want. Crap, fuck you. Also found out that people think it's a funny voice even if they don't get the joke. No, they don't. In fact, even an Uber driver from fucking oh, some random hey, are you referred? back to oh. our hotel fucking you, had to deal with it. The you, fuck piece of shit. You, 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 you referred to the time. And we made a valuable commercial that the guy didn't care. His his shit was gold. Yeah, it certainly wasn't because we were with a commercial crew. That wasn't why we were making a commercial. If that's what you were thinking, fuck you, asshole. We were drunk, too. We We were a little bit drunk. We're a little bit drunk. Well, all right. Well, hey, fuck. Mother Teresa was drunk on Christ when she was saving your life, you piece of fucking garbage. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's over the line for me, my twin. <laughs> Even though that's too much for Brian's pale shadow, the real chef, Captain Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> Brian's that's pale what, shadow. That, that's what I used to call my schooner. Brian's pale shadow. <laughs> but Brian's pale shadow. Captain Morgan is the uncomfortable and making fun of Mother Teresa. <laughs> I don't know why this just made me think of it. Uh, maybe because I haven't been on the show a lot. Is it just because you me. are fucking a manatee? <laughs> No, you're fucking you, you, man, you dog don't fucking you love a manatee, well, cross you, fucker. Don't you make gonna me tell the, the dolphins the... you're fucking the manatee is what, what you thought you were what saying. You, you were <laughs> the sweetheart. What, are you going to enter the frame from the left side with a stick and a slow, <laughs> creeping man? You know, people are recording it, by the way. It reminds me of the one time I was poking a manatee with a stick, and I was like, hey, fucking shoot this. Anyway, Garrett, what's up? (laughs) (laughs) 
Uh, you, you just reminded no, me. No, no, uh, you just reminded me of how sweet the safety system is in my favorite vehicle. I can't remember which one it is at the moment. I don't know, but it was somewhere between gold and diamond, and uh, it was uh, it was a real uh, uh, ravishing three plus. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Oh my God! What the fuck is this? Uh, someone has bought whitepeoplerich.com. God damn it! And made a Squarespace site out of God it. God damn it! Being rich and white is a burden. God damn it! We're rich. We're people. We're white. And we have problems. Some of the greatest problems faced today are those by rich white people. Let's find out That's more. A Jeep. Rich white people buy jeeps like this, but call them Jeep. Rich white people rock with manatees. But they don't take pleasure in it. Oh, you don't understand how difficult this is. We no, see they Captain. get paid for it. <laughs> uh, and all the learn more links take you to nightattack.tv. That's great. <laughs> Fantastic. God oh, damn, that's amazing. Someone just set that up so recently. If only someone paid us money to talk yeah. about how quick it was for them. To I set don't that know up. what website they used, but I, I bet know. it was a pretty. Yeah, good I'll tell you one. what, it was probably Wix. That's right. <laughs> Oh, good old medium.com. That's where I post all my stuff. I hope they used Uniregistry to find, to to get the domain. No, that would be they, lovely. They used domain. All right, Garrett, com, let me ask you this. Is this like the time where uh, the, 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 the restaurant's like putting chairs on the tables? Like, like is that why you've turned off your CGI? <laughs> it, 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 it was just getting hot as balls in here. <laughs> so I turned off all the studio <laughs> you, you lights. You ran out of energy? <laughs> it's like, I'm sorry. I can only flex so long. Uh, Garrett, what's going on, man? What's up? You just bought a house. Like you're, you're, I did. you're married I did now for uh, what? Close to a year. In in the new house. Married. Oh, married. married. Yeah, yeah. No, no. Sorry, I missed that part. Yeah, been married uh, over a year now. Our anniversary was last Halloween, or the most recent Halloween, and we uh, we just bought a house. Moved in uh, in December. Uh, how is it like being a homeowner? Um, well, uh, since I hadn't been keeping up on Night Attack, it means that I learned about the term white people rich by Willie Dills calling me that. <laughs> <laughs> what a piece of shit. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I, I can't remember. It, I, oh, I've I've become uh, so white people rich, but yeah, it was either about that. Uh, it was either I was either talking about uh, wait, wait, hold on, wait, 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 wait. For, for real, fucking Dills called you white people rich, like just yeah, randomly off the cuff. Yep, yeah, I think it was a, I think it was the Angry Chicken pre-show of like about a month ago. <laughs> 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 and I was like, what the, what the fuck, Dills? So, 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 so you had not heard that like, term oh, well, before? Shit, I haven't listened recently. <laughs> You'd never heard of it before. No, no, I hadn't. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, no. Apparently, like uh, people are requesting it on the, uh, the no, <laughs> no agenda, agenda. podcast. <laughs> yeah, no agenda podcast is playing <laughs> that's fucking it. Great. Uh, oh, that's that that's freaking amazing. Yeah, I'm, way, I've uh, been. Uh, uh, to... By the way, by the way, uh, Bryce, how how do you feel about being the guy who did the thing that is now? I've stopped. I've I like it's so far in the in the past that I've I've almost forgotten oh, I'm associated you. with it. Fuck you! You're uh, like I don't know. I create. I make hits, Brian. <laughs> I've moved a lot of good shit. I've moved then. well beyond white people rich. Oh, where people still enjoy it. They play it at weddings. <laughs> it's it's a classic. It no, was of I, the era, I suppose. <laughs> saying it was like five years ago why if see why people rich <laughs> it's fun to play it though. i read wow. i you know what there's a long storied history of the village people that <laughs> i read over the weekend turns out uh no i mean it's a it's a wacky song i it, it <laughs> like it's it's weird for you to ask me that because if anybody's gonna have long lasting impressions of it it's gonna be you the subject of the song <laughs> <laughs> you created the damn you thing. You want to know what, uh, Bryce? I'm very glad you brought that up because I was literally about to clown you. And then I'm like, you want to know what? Good, stay away. <laughs> like, I don't know. Texas got three it's a good song. I listen to my old songs. Every once in a while, I think it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, <laughs> and the, uh, 
Not, not bad <laughs> clips <laughs> they picked out. No, some good ones. <laughs> oh, right, $100. God damn it. Dude, that was a mega truck night, so. <laughs> oh, this, <laughs> everyone pulls out money. White people rich buys living in Texas, buy girls Lexuses. I forgot about the dancing with Jeff. Don't care, don't flames from my mouth because I live down south. Got money in my house, money in my car. My baby got a braces, money all over the place, money all around my underwater. Cause white people rich, white people rich. Doing a flip book animation. Jeff Curtis. What a weird what a time. I should really stop saying things that can be taken out of context. Talk on the internet way too much to actually accomplish that goal. I mean, you stopped dancing on TV. Or uh, on camera. For the most part. For the most part. Except for that sojourn into professional dancing. <clears throat> Wait, uh, professional dancing? Yeah, where you dance in a competition professionally. Oh, you got... yeah. I guess that happened. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> our anthem. Uh, hot damn. What are we doing? What are we doing with our lives? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Uh, aside from creating entertainment that lasts the that stands the test of time, right? I don't know. Probably bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on, that uh, feels good, right? That shit was how many years ago? Like four? four? Four years? Four years? Yeah, wow. That stands up. White people rich stands up. Dude, yeah. th no, that's a that's a fucking hot jam, man. No, that like that that's got the potential to just sort of, you know, be a thing. Just show up on our videos, right? If someone just posted no. our videos <laughs> right now, white people don't. rich. <laughs> please don't, please don't, please don't. <laughs> I don't want to be a meme. I like... <laughs> I do like seeing the parabola of Brian's uncomfortableness with that video uh, over time. Where like at first he was like not really a big fan at all, and then for a while he was pretty cool with it, and now it's coming back up maybe a little bit. So we're like, well, I mean, that's great that that's ours and it was a thing that happened. Yeah. I don't know that we want to share. I mean, I don't know. Do, do we want to get into like the first night of White People Ridge, like? Well, that was real, we, real we, bad. We, me and Brian had a conversation. It was not a pleasant one. Yeah. No, no, no. That that was a, a well documented conversation. I think. Yeah, yeah. No, that was uh, that was in uh, the the I don't know the the fussing days before we learned how to effectively communicate as a team. Yeah. Yeah. No, totally. Yeah. I mean, and and you know, I think it's safe to say also at. Uh, there were behind the scenes element that probably like like exacerbated it more than the you know laugh a minute chuckleheads that you guys see on screen that like probably made things a little bit worse. But like, uh, yeah, certainly like, it, I'm glad it is the, the the sterling funny joke that it is now forever. Because at the moment that it was formed, <laughs> it was certainly not. Well, well I, I, I mean, I mean, it was like that moment was forged of 
you know, I don't know, anxiety, right? It was like it was like white hot anxiety of like shit melting down around me, which is why I was so sensitive about it, which made it a funny thing to poke, which made it a funny part of the show. But uh but then uh as often does uh I don't know, like um uh he, I don't know, I don't know. What is the name of the if shit I, I i guess i don't have the words for it like like uh so much of what we've done on night attack is um rolling over and showing our bellies on really sensitive stuff and oftentimes that's what makes stuff like the this wpr thing so electric <laughs> uh is is that it it actually is uh you know on the edge of like that, that's too much I uh, I come from I think uh, a unique place uh, in as far as my my night attack fandom because uh, Brian uh, you were like the the uh, cord killers guy for me for the longest time. Oh uh, shit! Frame... You thought I was re- responsible yeah. and shit. Frame yeah, rate yeah. before that, and then Justin, <laughs> uh, you you were you were uh, on TMS, and that's how I found out about you. And that was like where you two existed in my stratosphere for the longest time. Um, so. Night, when I came across Night Attack, and still to this day, it is just like this archaeological dig of in jokes. <laughs> uh, yeah, we kind of have that effect. Um, <laughs> well, I mean, like, here's so there was a funny conversation that Brian and I had because we're talking about the South by Southwest show, which of course should be the Saturday on South by Southwest Interactive, and everybody should come to it, make your plans. Uh, but there was this moment where we realized that it's like, okay, well, what should we do? How much effort should we put into it? Yada, yada, yada. But the one thing that I think has always been the like guiding factor of that is that night attack is an endeavor in which we put forth enough effort for it to be the most fun and literally no effort beyond that. Right. Like, like, like there, there's a, like there's no effort to make it this monolith. There's no effort to make it like, you know, Viacom. We literally just want to put enough into this thing to make it so much fun that it's the thing that we rejuvenate ourselves for everything else that we do. And so it's like for you to know me as the guy who was on TMS and Brian as the guy who was on like frame rate and core killers, like there's no joke that doesn't start at night attack. Like there's no (laughs) joke that doesn't start at BB live show. There's no joke that doesn't start at fucking, uh, uh, NSFW show. Like that is just, that's our pleasure. (laughs) Like everything else radiates from there in terms of the jokes and the in like, you know, like being silly kind of shit at least. So somebody, the buck underscore R.I. just showed up saying like, hey, man, I'm late. What did I miss? Captain Fubar missing zero beats says, uh, here's a link to Ricola. No, no, that's a crime. That's file that under secret. No, 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 no. That's that's also conspiracy. Uh, Yeah. Which is why it's also. Yeah. Like like they could break that ring with the Ricola. (laughs) <laughs> that's that's true. Oh, I just got that. Rico. <laughs> oh, the Rico laws. Rico law. That's great. <laughs> oh, that was really that was fast thinking on a at a comedic speed. Uh, dude, man, that highlight shit was amazing. Like, uh, uh, so if you've ever played racquetball, sometimes. Somebody will hit it really hard. It'll go to the back wall and bounce, and you just kind of have to goose it on forward. Like, that happens in Hialeah, where it's like they fire it at 150 miles an hour. It cracks against the wall, hits so hard that it hits the back wall, and then bounces up to you, and you and, and I say the proverbial you, scoop it up and just keep it on going even faster. It's crazy. I have, like... Zero experience with any of that. With highlight? No, that's oh god. Uh, or or racquetball, for that matter. All I all I can see is like, 
When I was like five, my dad used to play racquetball. We I watched it like once. <laughs> in Tampa at the end of March, you, your lady, and uh, uh, me and Dills, and we got to go fucking go to a high lie in Tampa. I bet you there's a high lie in Tampa. Gotta What's happening in March lie. where you and Dills are going to be in town? For WrestleMania. Oh, you're both fucking coming for WrestleMania. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, we Katie and I considered that for a second, seats, and then we saw dog. then we saw the ticket prices. Dude, yeah, I, did... I bought two floor seats because I'm an asshole because I, I had faith in a wrestling podcast that we were gonna do. Uh, it's yet to fully pay off, <laughs> but we're really hoping that eventually this Patreon is really gonna put a dent in this fucking credit card debt I fucking incurred for myself. Oh, jeez, dude, here it is. This is us. <laughs> <laughs> Play it high life. Okay. That's that backhanded high life we love. great for the audio listeners uh we're just yeah. watching the clip from tron with imagine play. the worst version they of that ricochet that game <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay, this is I, I hope amazing it would be if, if we're all excited we're like hey we're learning to play highlight and then they just like this is the vr experience is <laughs> they they rebuild this <laughs> <laughs> Dude, uh, that guy who played Sark, uh, what's his name? David Warner? Uh, he's all the bad guys in all the movies. Like, he was in, uh, uh, Titanic. He was evil in Time Bandits. Was he the he iceberg was, in Titanic? Oh, God. Uh, no, he was, he was, he was, uh, I don't know, the, the, the bodyguard. The father. Right something. around. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. And he played Tom that. Hanks in Sleepless in Seattle. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Little known fact. It's a little known fact, though. Are we uh, are we winding this down? I think so. I think we might. I mean, hey. like, fuck. I, I feel like we need new fail videos. We'll, like, we'll... I, 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 man, we had a hell of a run with Flaming Shot. Man, we had a we we, we had a hell of a shot. Yeah. Well, here, give me well, here. Uh, give me, next uh, week. I'll, next I'll week look I'll, into I'll... a new genre of fail videos and maybe. Put some well, no, 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 no. Next week is the the fucking Viking funeral for for Flaming Shot. We want any and everything that you can ever find about Flaming Shot next week. Like uh, that's that's just that. Okay, that's that's a weird way to left turn from Flaming Shots is to double down on Flaming Shots. Uh, <laughs> well, for one last <laughs> blaze like, of glory. Yeah, yeah, but one last. It's blaze like of glory? literally, it began with "We need something different than flaming shots." Okay, well, I'll get on that. Whoa, no, no, no! Next week, it's got to be triple flaming shots. Well, it's not that we need something else. It's that we're running out. Like, th yeah, we're, we're tapping that K. I mean, we solved we solved that case. We're Columbo. We 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 had the one more thing. We figured out uh, uh, what it is, and then that's it. So all right, so so literally the only question is, so you think we're done? We, we've seen the best flaming shot. Yes, a hundred percent. I I think we saw the best three weeks ago, and that's and why hey, we're recognizing now that we're out of really good ones. There could still be a night rider in BMX fails. We'll sure. figure that out. Yeah, there's always a night rider. <laughs> yeah, uh, the, the, there's what, a man, night rider uh, in in bad uh, 1980s PSA videos. <laughs> There's that chance that Gary Coleman will run out and actually get into Kit and drive off, oh, yeah. in which case we'll be super ready for it. Oh, yeah. I guess maybe I just wanted, like, one more week of Flaming Shots so we can, like, I don't know, hone in on another thing that we should look for or, like, I don't know. Uh, I, I, if you think there's more gold to be mined there, I, I've got your back, but, but I am suspicious of this vein. I think, I think we've, we've, we've I don't we've, know. I we mean, have I effectively like, cataloged like, the, the, like, the like, color like, cut quality go and out clarity. With like, like, when you get fucking three months out of a bit, you should fucking have like one final 
Like, even if we gussy it up with fucking bullshit well, where, like, we bet $50 okay, but, on the fucking final thing, we should gussy up the last bullshit he, fucking he, flaming well, shot thing. Here, Here's the only problem with that is that has us putting a tombstone on a thing that maybe is not dead. Um, I would rather turn around and look at another shiny thing and chase that butterfly for a little bit rather than announcing, this is it, the last of the Flaming Shot videos. They're, oh, oh you know. I would always rather fucking pronounce it dead so it can come back from the no, dead. No, see, I, I disagree. I disagree Coming back from the dead's the best. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, there's nothing great about funerals. Uh, I say we go chase another butterfly and then we find something shiny at some future moment. Cool. But zombies, man. Zombies. It worked out for Drew Barrymore. Hey. Yeah, hey man. Yo. No, she's killing it right now. Well, hey, uh, hey, anybody seen that? Yeah, I did. It's it's all right. It's still Drew Barrymore pretending to act. <laughs> um, So what's up with uh, 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 fucking alpha male being beta male? What's going on? What? That was a fucking sentence. Raylan Givens, uh, uh fucking uh, Deadwood being like, you know, Jerry from Rick and Morty. Oh, Timothy Oliphant being oh, a yuppie California. Playing a weaker in, character yeah, than he traditionally does. Got it. Yeah. Uh, I I haven't seen it. I don't know. I haven't either. I, I, well, and I, haven't, I haven't seen him as Raylan, so I, don't, I wouldn't. No, no, you haven't watched Justified. No. Dude. Yeah, but whoa, 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 whoa. Yo, you ain't never seen Deadwood? No, I haven't. Bryce. Oh my God! What television are you watching, Dude, sweet uh, child? For for the record, I gave up on Deadwood because I was like six episodes in. Mm -hmm. or, actually, I take the back. I think I had watched the first season and then I heard it was canceled, and I was just like, "Well, I'm you know, yeah. I'm not gonna watch a quick, you know, I don't need another Firefly in my life." Sure. I just had that, or I'm I'm currently going through that with Penny Dreadful. I was just avoiding it forever, and then I started watching. I'm like, oh, this is good. When season four start? And like, then I read it. No, nope. like, oh, god damn yeah. it! <laughs> Wait, isn't there a new Penny Dreadful series? Like, isn't that like a? I, I started Sherlock to see rumors Holmes? about a spinoff, but it, it, I don't want to know how it uh, ends because I haven't gotten there yet. Okay. So I'm just, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was we, just we we can play the sabotage video for you right now if you haven't seen it before. It's directed <laughs> by Spike Jones. It's uh, pretty good from the '90s. Uh, but, I, but I, Bryce, get on your get on your Timothy Oliphant westerns like right now. Okay, I did like him in the grinder, but he was playing himself. Uh, Brian, yo, I hate to pitch like a Kickstarter <laughs> without consulting but, you, <laughs> but you're gonna do it anyway. <laughs> but what if we were able to set a number in which? It was good for us to both literally fly out and watch all three seasons of Deadwood over a long weekend and between each episode record a podcast, if not just like running commentary. Oh, no, no, no. It, it would be running commentary the entire time. It would be yeah. an epic. We would do. OK, hold on. Hold on. This is an idea. Why don't we start doing director's commentary tracks for shit that we had nothing to do with? And if we begin the episode, you're like, Hi, I'm Brian Brushford. I had nothing to do with the creation of Deadwood. Hey, I'm yeah, just Robert I'm Young. Just Robert Young. I have less than fucking nothing to do with any of this shit. Uh, all right. So this episode appears to be set so wait, in it, the would, Old West. Would this, uh, this would also be an episode <laughs> that, that you've never seen it before. Looks, it looks like this is a lawless town. I would imagine that they went and uh, got a big set. Uh, those horses look expensive. Uh, <laughs> it's a good idea. I, I would listen to the living shit out of that if my vote uh, matters at all. <laughs> I mean, listen. All right. Literally, what if we flew out to fucking Deadwood, South Dakota. <laughs> we actually did it in Deadwood. And watched Man, all of it in a motel. In a motel. We're not even there. We're in a motel. <laughs> We're like, this this town ain't lawless bullshit. Please, please do it in Yo, we costume. ate an Applebee's this morning. <laughs> I just got some flapjacks. They told me to keep the change. What? <laughs> Uh, I mean, I don't know history. 
<laughs> uh, yeah, no, I'm in. I'm in. This is a good idea. I'm there. I'm there with you. All right, so I'm gonna start a Kickstarter. <laughs> I mean, why not do a GoFundMe? Whoa, unto Brian Brushwood. <laughs> That's already been deleted. Oh, Thank got you. it. All right. <laughs> I should call your show Film Sack. I don't know. I guess we could probably just do it on this fucking Patreon, right? We could just say, like, hey, at X point, we'll fucking fly to a certain point and fucking watch all three seasons of Deadwood. Let's come up with the name with it and 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 make it a whole thing. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. That we fly to Deadwood, fucking yep. South Dakota? Yep. yep. Is it's it North Dakota weird. or South Dead Dakota? Dead weird is Somebody the name of it. Somebody fucking check that for South, me. Uh, SD. It's South Dakota. It's South? Yeah. Dude, we should have uh, 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 fucking Dan Dirks come with us, man. That's his hometown. <laughs> his hometown is the state of South Dakota? Mm, I don't know. I mean, like, <laughs> everybody in that area is fucking from another town in that I area. I mean, he's white, so. <laughs> he's <laughs> white as fuck, dude. You ever seen him? <laughs> Kid is translucent. <laughs> um, what if what, what if we had like a Dude, showing? Piper's like, hey, how about you watch The Wire in Baltimore? <laughs> we'll do that. Yes, yes, that's season two, buddy. Hang in there. Um, what if what if we did a whole thing where it was a public thing where people could fly out and we uh we promised that we were gonna watch Deadwood in the main room of the Best Western in in Deadwood, South Dakota. And like whoever wanted to come join us could join us. Could come join five, us five and, then, and then our, our commentary would be just be live. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For fucking one person or a hundred. Yep, 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 yep. This is yep. how Nerdtacular started. Th- this is I will, literally I will, how Nerdtacular started. I will back this, but only if I get to be a guest on season three when you do Dexter from Miami. Uh, oh. I mean, we could start with that, I guess. <laughs> no, thing. it's got to start. No, it starts with Deadwood. Deadwood's okay. the fucking thing. But if it's going to be. I don't know. The, why, the see, Wire in Baltimore, though. Episodes. But you have to you have to be careful. Like, even a long weekend is going to be tough for something that's got more than a couple of seasons. Uh, yeah, De- Deadwood's like the right length, right? And then yeah. what the fuck do you do when the movie finally comes out? <sighs> okay. This is going to be a summer TV done at regular speed. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Oops. Uh Uh-oh. Oh, whoops. Oopsie daisy. Well, all right, gentlemen. Well, I... uh... I Oh, shit. When the guest taps out, that means we've gone too long. Thank you so much, (laughs) uh, Garrett, for hanging out with us, dude. It's been a total blast. It's been amazing. It's always fun to join you guys and sit here through a couple things I wish I had like a night attack dictionary for. <laughs> oh God, sorry about that. Yeah. No, it's okay. Uh, so Hyali was originally uh, from a society before America, I think. Hyali. Mm. Huh. Mm. Hyali. Hyali. I can't believe uh, they named a beer after that. Did didn't we have a, a D man oh. thing for the high line? <laughs> well, yesterday it's, you were doing why it. I left her. <laughs> it was me, she the D man. <laughs> she was high and she didn't tell the truth. <laughs> uh, all right. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. Good night. We love you.